I mean, turn my cam off, sorry. Is this going to work? Is this going to work? Let's see. Let's see. It is currently not working. My share button at the moment. To sh I, I can't share this. Working. Yeah, right like now. Like it doesn't give me a share button. Are you able to hear me? Share button at the moment. Hello. Hi. Ah, I can hear you. Yeah, so um, it's not giving me a share button. I'm uh, trying to share window, but it, the share button's grayed out. Maybe because I have a, a software already running. Maybe. Um... Oh, there we go. That's on? Yeah, yeah, I got you. Yeah. Nice one. Yeah. That's cool. Because this way I can see your meters and stuff, so that's cool. Let me... Uh... Let me just David, switch. welcome to the stream. <laughs> hey, thank you for having Yo, me. Thanks, thanks so much for uh, for helping me out in the past and oh, no coming worries, on and, and helping me out yet again. <laughs> Any time. Audio uh, perils. No worries. It's absolutely fine. So yeah, so basically, um, like I was saying to you the other day, you know, we had Reaper set up before, um, which was working really well before. Um, I'm not too sure exactly where that issue came from, where you had like the jittery kind of weird sound Maybe in your voice. Maybe it was an update or something that broke Reaper. So yeah, I wonder if it was, because it, it really sounds like a clocking issue, which is when you have like a mismatch of sample rates. So I think that it was probably something to do with that. Um, yeah, and that could have been caused by your headset and, and, you know, different drivers and that kind of thing. So I'm, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with that. Um, but... It's it doesn't matter. So I've been thinking for a little while that we should probably just set you up with um, processing in OBS natively anyway, uh, because it's just a lot simpler and it means that you don't have another whole piece of um, software running in the background. So looks like you've got the uh, stuff running there. That's good. Yeah. Do you want to paste those in chat here so I can uh, share it with the with people yeah. watching? Uh, yep. Two seconds. Also, if you want to introduce yourself and like what kind of your background is in this. Cool. Okay. So um, if you, if, if, any, if anyone's looking at my stream, I probably look really derpy at the moment. So I'm just leaning over to post this on my laptop. But so basically I'm, um, I'm a record producer and a recording and mix engineer. Uh, I've been doing that for many years now. Um, probably too many, really. Um, so... So the, the plugins that I've, um, I've got you to install are by a company called Tokyo Dawn, um, which is like a really cool company. They're a cool record label and also um, uh, they make audio software. So there's Tokyo Dawn Records and there's Tokyo Dawn Labs. And they make a couple of really cool um, free audio plugins one of which is a compressor, which we're going to use. And the other one is an EQ, so just a, an equalizer um, to change the tone of the microphone, basically. I thought I'd turned off Streamlabs. Two sex, Ali, sorry. Um, add. Yes, there we go. Um, so uh, thanks for the follow anyway, but yeah. Um, so basically what we want to do is... Um, before, when you were running Reaper, you had a few uh, filters set up in Reaper that were a noise gate. Uh, you also had a noise suppressor, which you used occasionally when you had your fan or your air conditioner on in the room. Um, and then you had an EQ and a compressor as well. Um, so basically what we're going to do this time is we're just going to set up the noise gate. We're going to leave off the noise suppression for now. Um, and we're going to set up an EQ and a compressor just like you had before. So. Um, basically what you've got is the Tokyo Dawn Slick EQ and the Tokyo Dawn Kotelnikov, which is a compressor. And I can see you've already got those up on the... There you go. Hold on, excuse me. Why am I hearing that? 
really annoying. Sorry. Sorry, Hallie. I'm just getting deafened by my own... Um... Thanks for the follow. <laughs> 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 yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> all good. Keep them uh, up, guys. Keep them going. No, don't do it. Don't Thanks do it. The um, they're just quite loud in my headphones. So, okay. So, yes. Yeah, so, we have got... Okay. So, what I want you to do first is to turn off all of those filters to start with. Just, yeah, click the eye and then they'll all go away. Um, because we want to see what is your actual background noise level in the, uh, on the meters in OBS. So if you can position the filters window off to the right a little bit so I can see the, uh, there we go. Uh, so if you make sure and don't say anything for a couple of seconds, I'm just gonna look on, on your meter where your uh, background noise sits. Okay, cool. So um, if you get your filters window back, Oh, sorry, I can't hear you, actually. Hold on. Why am I able to hear in this call? Are you able to hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. Um, do you want me to turn the game off in the background? Um, no, it's okay, actually. That, that shouldn't matter too much at all. I don't think it's actually showing on the meters at the moment, but... I'm mostly just looking at the meter for your microphone. Yeah, it should just be showing in desktop audio. Yeah, I can see it there, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so, okay, if you grab your filters window again and just bring that back onto the screen. Um, so, oh, just so you know, Hallie, you're, you're, you've still got your game capture up on your uh, stream, unless if you wanted to share this as well, I don't know, it's up to you. Um, so basically we want to set the, there you go. That's cool. I'm getting a really weird lag on your mic, actually. Is it uh, double talking? No, I think it's actually, I think you're just muting it. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Um, so on your noise gate filter at the top of the window there, just click on that. Um, well, what do you mean by, by my mic is muted? It sh I should be using push to talk still, maybe? Okay, yeah, it's probably that. It's just I, I can see your stream, so I can see your mouth move, so I'm thinking that you're talking to me. It's fine, don't worry. Okay, so if you click onto the noise gate... Okay, so your background... That, those settings are actually not too far off what we want actually so your background noise on your meter is sort of reading about f minus 45 to minus 50 most of the time so um, if i just talk to you about what these two thresholds mean because that's different to how you had it in uh, reaper where you have one threshold but then you have a there is actually another number in there which relates to this but i don't know if you'd have noticed it so the thing I find slightly annoying about this interface is that the open threshold should be first in 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 line there, rather than um, uh, the closed threshold. It doesn't quite make sense the way it is at the moment, but it's not to worry. So basically, the open threshold is uh, the volume at which your voice has to exceed to trigger the gate to open, so that your voice is broadcasted. Then the close threshold is the threshold at which your voice has to drop back down below before it will close. So that's why they have to be different. And that's why you have the close threshold as a lower value than the open threshold. Uh, because that way it allows your voice uh, to naturally fluctuate in volume as it will. Um, and for the gate to not actually keep turning you off all the time. Uh, so... Um, where you've got it set at the moment is actually kind of okay. It is, uh, what is your, thresh, your open threshold set to? Is it minus 35 or minus 36? I can't quite. Uh, minus 35. Cool. So put that down to minus 38 for now. Yeah, that's cool. And then we'll just leave them 4 dB apart. That should be fine. On your attack time, can you set that to... Let me just check what I've got mine set to. But I think you want to speed that up a wee bit. Yeah, I have mine set to five milliseconds. 
Uh, and then, so the other night you were saying about uh, raising your hold time, which is totally fine. Um, but what you'll actually, you don't actually need to so much because you've got this uh, close threshold value. So you can actually have your hold time set down to like 100 or 150 and it'll be fine. Perfect. All right, we'll go with 150. Yeah, that's good. So you can turn back on your noise gate now on the filter list there. Um, you can actually remove the next um, filter that you've got, which is the gain filter, because we're actually going to use the compressor to turn it up in a minute. So you won't actually need that there. So for your stream, it will get a little bit quieter when he turns this plugin off, but it's fine. You can turn it back up in a minute. You can just click the minus at the bottom of the list as well and go away. Yeah. Cool. Um, so I don't know what that is. I'm assuming that that's, yeah, that's cool. We can, um, we can look at that in a minute, but leave that turned off for now because we'll want that. Should it, and it also should be at the bottom, right? Yeah, exactly. It will be, it will need to be last in the order, but we'll, we'll look at that in a few minutes. We don't want to blast it too much with a um, loudness maximizer for now. Uh, this, the, um, the compressor that I'm going to get you to set up is a mastering grade compressor. So it's actually pretty good for keeping control of the peaks and stuff. Um, so okay. what we'll look at first is the EQ. Um, what would be really cool actually is if you could just open Reaper, I hope that won't interfere with anything, but if you can open Reaper and look at your EQ just to jog my memory. All right, there it is there. Okay. All right, cool. That's fine, thank you. We'll just do something do relative. Open, just no, so no, it's it. fine. No, it's cool. I, I know roughly what it was. I, I kind of remember. I can half remember setting it up. Um, so on the slick EQ, if you just drag that out into the middle, there's a couple of little things you need to just switch off to start with um, because you want to make sure that this creates as little uh, time delay or lag uh, as possible on your stream because obviously it's a live broadcast. So if you see where it says full across the top, there's like a little button on, actually on the slick EQ. Yeah. So click that and switch that to eco and ignore if, if you get a warning because sometimes you get a little warning pop up. Um, so basically what that does is it turns off a couple of uh, saturation filters with, or features which um, basically create more of a processing delay in the EQ. So you won't need them and as you don't need them it means that it will create less of a lag between your video and your uh, audio on stream. So um, what we need to do is we're going to roughly replicate the EQ that we had set up for you before. Um, so what we start with is all the way on the left hand side we're just going to go across like control by control so that just left of where you actually are now it says hp freak uh if you just yeah it's the grayed out one so if you just click on the knob and drag that upwards uh to like 80 uh, so that is a high pass um, so that basically cuts out anything below that frequency because there's not really a lot of your voice below 80 hertz it's mostly just kind of like rumble and air movement and uh you know like if you knock your stand or something like that it kind of rumbles and makes a big bang what about noise keys? like my key clicks are probably pretty loud yeah i mean they're quite when you hear them across the mic they're actually quite high frequency there's not a great deal of kind of thuddiness to them um do you actually have your your microphone is in a suspension mount isn't it I think yeah yeah it's so, pretty close to the board itself yeah sure i think most of the low frequency stuff from a keyboard is actually like physically connected vibration um I see. so and if you've got a suspension mount on it's it's very likely that it's actually not going to even really transfer any low frequency stuff uh because yeah, those it's got all, all kinds of uh like uh tethering and stuff to it. That yeah, it. sure. It so there's makes it so no vibration comes through. Yeah, so there's basically an outer ring and there's an inner ring which holds the microphone and those two rings are connected together with like elastic. 
Um, and so that elastic basically absorbs the vibrations and, and stops it transferring through. So if anybody's having a problem with that on their mic at home, they need to probably get themselves a suspension mount, which you can get very cheaply nowadays. Um, so with the EQ, first off, we're going to use the low frequency band. So this is just a three band EQ. It's quite a simple EQ, um, but it really does all we need it to do. So we're, we're using the high pass already. So we're cutting out all of that low rumbly stuff. Um, and then on the low frequency band, if you put the frequency dial, just move that up to say like 120 roughly. Uh, yep. And then just add like 2 dB. Because before on your EQ in Reaper, you just had a very subtle uh, boost in the bottom end of your voice. And that just kind of makes it, kind of makes you feel a little bit closer uh, to the mic because your mic is kind of on the other side of your keyboard. So that's, I mean, typically... Yeah, well, it's like, it's just suspended above the keyboard there, but like, yeah. it's, it's pretty far compared to what would be ideal. Yeah, sure. So maybe, in fact, maybe just put that up to three. It's, one dB is like a fractional difference. It's really not that big a deal, but I'm, you know, I, I'm like that. So um, with the mid EQ, uh, so the two knobs in the, right in the middle, um, if you just put that frequency up to about 5.5 kilohertz or thereabouts. So with this one, what we're doing, we're just going to turn it down by like 3 dB because uh, around sort of 5 to 7, sometimes a little bit higher kilohertz is roughly where like the sibilance, like the S's and the T's, like the kind of the aggressive... Uh, harsh mid frequencies of your voices. So I'm just kind of backing that off a little bit. So it's only very subtle. So yeah, you can see each one of those bands can be turned on and off as well. So if you yeah, weren't using I, I one. Thinking, yeah, one looked like it was depressed in, like it wasn't on. So I was like, I just pressed it. I was like, oh hmm. no, that actually is off now. Yeah, sure. Um, so with both the low and the high frequency EQs, uh, they've also got that other pair of buttons below them. And they basically choose which type of EQ that is. So at the moment, they're both set to shelf, which is what we want. So it basically turns up uh, the frequency that you select and then all of the frequencies above or below them. So on the low side, it will uh, turn up or down all of the frequencies below 120 hertz. And on the high side at the moment, it'll, it'll be everything above 10 kilohertz. I'd okay. probably move the frequency of the high side down to like eight, uh, just to give a little bit more of a presence for your voice, and then just give it three dB or something. It's all very, very subtle for the uh, EQ, and you don't want to go overboard with EQ, really. Um, these types of EQs are really just to kind of like thicken and broaden out the sound of your voice on stream, and th that's really all you need. Okay. So one, Is there any of these okay. that would um, turn me into like funny voices and stuff? Well, the thing <laughs> is, you as you've seen, like you can see how easy it is to install a VST plugin into yeah. OBS. Um, if you search for free VST plugins, there's literally a VST plugin for anything you want to do. Because I was just thinking to myself, like I don't know how I would switch between these plugins, mm -hmm. like on the fly, but that could be fun. Yeah, yeah, to it add could to be the stream without having to, to buy like a separate piece of hardware. Yeah, sure. So I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure exactly whether you can. I've not actually looked into it yet. Whether you can set a hotkey to turn on and off individual filters or not. Um, but if there was, then you could do that. So like, if you wanted like a big excuse me, big reverb or something, you could uh, have your reverb sat there just turned off all the time, and then you could use a hotkey to turn it on and off. Um, the other option would be to have your mic coming in twice. So actually have two uh, devices in your mixer, one with an effect on and one with it off, and then you set a hotkey to toggle the mute on one of them and the mute on the other at the same time. So it basically just turns one on and one off. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. So you could do it that way as well. Um, I'm not sure if also if um, if Stream Deck allows for any more customization when it comes to that stuff. Yeah, it's normally just sources and scenes you can switch on and off. Yeah, that's it's what I thought. Anything. I think it would have to be in the OBS software somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I I just don't know if it isn't already there. It might be, but um, I've not really looked into it. So the other thing. Anything with the far right. 
No, so that's what I was about to say. So the um, the two topmost uh, sections there, they're just the output saturation stuff. So that's the actual stuff we turned off a minute ago when we changed it from full to eco. Uh, so that literally won't work now. I see. Uh, and the thing below it is, um, so you can set the output level of the EQ. Uh, so with anything like an EQ, when you're cutting and boosting and turning up and turning down certain frequencies, that can cause your voice to sound louder or quieter. Um, so you sometimes need to compensate for that with the output gain. The thing that this EQ does is you see the auto button is on and it's uh, lit up. So that yes. basically means that whatever changes you make in terms of the volume with the EQ itself, it will automatically compensate for that for you. So you don't really need to think about that too much now. So you can, um, you can close out that interface window now um, and turn on that filter in the list and you're all good with the EQ for now. Um, so chat, your uh, Hallie's voice might get a little bit louder as I'm doing this next bit, but it shouldn't be too bad at any point. So you had your that little gain filter in there. You had that as plus six before, didn't you? The one that we took off already. I can't hear you if you're uh, talking. Yeah, sorry, I still can't hear you, Hallie, if you are talking now. Yeah, I don't know why that's why it's not. There, can you not hear me right now? I can hear you now, yeah. Okay, I don't know why. I I have to come and open up Discord. It must be with the screen share software. Uh I yes. Have to come and like press on. With yeah, my... yeah. It's actually a different mute. It's kind of annoying. Uh, okay. Um, well, yeah. So um, so it was um six. It, we had it at six, but it was kind of like uh, like we just kind of placed it there. It wasn't mm -hmm. really that that thought about. So sure that's a better there could be a better gain yeah no worries so on your um audio filters list turn on the katelnikov now uh actually on the list of the filters there because the the cool thing about this compressor as opposed to the built-in compressor with obs is obviously it's a really really good compressor um but the other thing is that it actually has metering so it will show the level of your voice coming in and it'll show the amount of gain reduction that's actually being applied to it at any one time so um, as it's a mastering compressor, it's meant to be very, 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 very subtle. Uh, you're not really supposed to hear this doing its job at all. But we're actually going to kind of use it in a bit of a brutish kind of way and, and actually try and get a little bit more out of it. So uh, again, like you did on the EQ where you turned it onto eco mode, there's a precise button at the top. You just change that to eco. That's great. And then on the ratio, put that up to about six to one. So we want quite an aggressive compression for a voice. Um, so you see it only goes up to seven anyway. So let's call it six. So on the... Is, uh, is, is, is that good there, six yeah. to one? Yeah, that's perfect, yep. Yeah. Uh, where it says soft knee, which might seem like a bit of a weird control to have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> have you got soft knees, Hallie? I saw you did a workout earlier, so you never know. <laughs> um, so so put it up to like try it at nine for a while and uh this is kind of like it's a very subtle thing i might be able to spot it when i'm watching you in the future but um it's a very subtle control it basically just um smooths the onset of the compression um next with your threshold if you can just i know this is awkward as hell but if you just talk like you would talk if you're on stream like talk to someone in chat or something um and i'll just watch the meter on the roll Okay, that's cool. So if you uh, put your threshold so that the knob is basically pointed straight up. Yep, yeah, there's pretty good. Uh, and then that is pretty much all you really need to do with this compressor. So with the makeup, you see where it says in the top right, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, yes, that's it bumbling Englishman, um, put that up to plus six. And then that is basically taking uh, the role of your uh, 
the game plugin that you had on previously. So um, that should work. That should be completely, uh, that should compress you and it should uh, level out the different uh, volumes of your voice across the stream. Um, and then it should be turning itself back up again afterwards to give you a decent level on stream. So if we just leave the loudness uh, maximizer guy off for now, um, what, we might, what might be really good actually is if you were just to play another round of uh, PUBG or whatever you're up for playing right now, um, and then I'll just watch your stream uh, and have a listen, um, and then come back to me just for like two minutes afterwards. And if there's anything else to change, then I'll let you know. But I think in, in general terms, that should be pretty good now. Wow, fantastic. Thanks so much for uh, taking a look at that with us. No, no worries, man. Here after a round. Yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, so um, let's just close the screen share for now. Uh, and I'll get your stream up and I'll just sit and watch through around and see how you get on. Fantastic. Talk to you in a bit. Yeah, cool. Bye. Okay. So I'm not sure what the uh, rules on restreaming are anymore. And also, hi, anyone who came by the stream. I'm so sorry I had to ignore you all, but I didn't have a mute set up for the screen share. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, he needs a punish button. <laughs> I think he needs a punish button for sure. Did, you guys hear me? did we, uh, did we fix my audio? We will see. So, um, we're going to play around here. We're going to have our coffee. Jeez, my coffee's still over here. What the frick, guys? Yeah, he definitely needs a punish I'm button. We're leaving my my uh, my coffee, and I'm also not going to try to speak like the clearest I can into the mic, because you know, guys, how I like to to look over here and talk, and also look over here and talk. I like to talk to you guys all around the room, but it'd be nice to uh, to dial it in where it's not not cutting off certain things. Sounds great. Is David working his magic? I hope you guys are all going over and giving him a follow over there. Um, he's just such a such a great um, great person to, to come on and use all of his knowledge and help us. He's helped a lot of streamers out. You guys would uh, also uh, hook him up with a, with a follow there. He does Punish what for? Nice games. It's it's, it's an in joke. Cool. Sorry. <laughs> Sounding good right now, Halifax. Woo. Arazzi has a thing about buttons and knobs in uh, in audio software, and what, uh, I've got. What a, I kind of want to know, like I don't. I've got a little processor about, which has a, a punish I'd button. I'd like to know how how it handles me yelling, because that's the only thing that I wanted the uh, the other thing for is to to kind of cut off my highs. But that program that program in there is doing good. Um, the, the lines go up into the red a little bit, so the, it's a little louder than we just had it. But if I'm, uh, snapping, I think it does, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know if that's bad or, or good. Maybe thanks singing? Follow. Thanks, thanks for the follow. Thanks oh for God. The follow. <laughs> what have I instigated here? Thank you ever so much for the follow. I'm so sorry I haven't even looked. Hold on, who yeah, have we David, had follow? Well, David oh set my up God. our um, Reaper stuff. Before that program started acting up, David went through and added, um, set all that up for us as well. So thank you to Newskies, Mr. Hamaja, Warshin Bear, Tubby Superbald, Zen, hey Zen, Cahoots88, Chillboy323, and Irimon. Thank you all very much for following the channel. That's really hugely appreciated. Very, very kind of you all. Listen, Ali again. And, uh, and, and play with it some. But can it handle Kraken, Hallie? Ooh, that's gonna be that's gonna be the toughest test, isn't it? Thanks for the follow. Thanks, thanks for the follow. Timestamp is forty minutes in. And thank you. Oh my oh, god. I David has one. A Mavis Pala? Oh, that would be fantastic, David. Sorry, my stream les is getting really behind. I've said thanks to Irimon, so let's say thanks to Stuckmind, Juice TRB, 
74 and Patero 7 Cost P Southern Bell VA and Elemental Call 87. Thank you all so much. That's very, very kind of you. And all that. I know I know it's it's what he does for his profession, so I know coming pro home and probably doing audio stuff all night is not on the not, not on the table. Ali's too nice. Playing his games and, and doing stuff too on his stream. Ali's too nice. Don't spill crack it on your v VST buckets. I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> nice copy bag. Wish Pal made that. Thank you, Zistox X and Morbidity. Thank you, guys. We have Christmas ones coming, guys. Super We're so kindy. gonna do Christmas mugs. Happy Friday, Muggin. How are we doing, bud? Hey, Zo. Wow, uh, it's really lagging out. We'll see uh, with gunshots and stuff ringing out how uh, how it holds up. That was a lot quicker and painless than I thought. Uh, yeah, Elemental Pool. Um, I'm not too sure. I think it's a sample rate thing, though, um, which is why this is going to be much better, because it's basically just cutting out a lot of different things. I think it's actually down to the virtual audio cables uh, being messed with sample rate-wise. So um, it's hard to tell, really hard to tell, but uh, I think it's definitely something to do with that. Oh, cool. Thanks, Tubby. Uh, feel free to check out some of my highlights. I've got plenty of um, previous broadcasts. Um, I did like a nine, ten part series of different things that you can set up for streaming. So uh, give those a look. They're just in the video section if you just switch it to highlights or check out on my YouTube channel as well. Let's give this guy a good listen. Just quickly turn off my alerts for a second. A Friday night excitement. <laughs> <laughs> what no, else can we no throw one is at the mic? My spot. So it's picking up a bit of his keyboard, um, and that's triggering the uh, gate to open a little bit. Check it out, bro. I gotta get it's difficult. Here. Like I, I'm going to get him to move his gate up a couple of decibels to try and cut a little bit more of that out but it's kind of tricky because where his mic is like his keyboard is sometimes as loud as some of the things he says so i kind of uh i don't want to cut out like the quieter stuff that he says um but we'll see i think maybe it could go up a couple of db and hopefully cut out a couple more of those keyboard clicks they are loud definitely loud I mean, I've got mine like right next to my mic, but my mic's between the keyboard and myself, so it's a little bit easier. Uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, Hallie's mic is just on the other side of his keyboard. Thank you, Slick. That's very kind of you. <laughs> I don't actually remember. Let's see if it says keyboard. Does he have Logitech Pro something? I actually don't know. There's a new gun. I mean, Canada, it'll get here quick. It comes from the States, though. It comes from the States. It's the company. Yeah, I guess so, BTM dubs. Um, I kind of thought, like, the Roma G switches were meant to be a bit quieter, but... I mean, really, it's just the it's just the keycap bottoming out. So, so I mean, I think the volume between his um, <clears throat> his gunshots in game and his actual voice are pretty good at the moment. I think probably his voice is a little bit louder than it was before, so in theory the game could come up a bit, but um, at the same time it seems pretty good. Let's see. Damn it! Yeah, that's okay.
Uh, so Wildor, that's well, Will Wildor. That's a really good question. So um, the advantage to having, um, say, like a hardware mic preamp compressor and EQ, like in a channel strip, as they're often called. The good thing about that is basically that you ha you only have to set that up once and you leave it alone and it works forever, basically. Um, you don't have to worry about if a software update comes out and it stops working one of your plugins. And you don't have to worry about if you switch to a new computer, setting all that stuff up again, you just plug it in and it works. The other good thing about it is that that processing will be carried across to every application on your computer that takes that mic as an input. So that could be the game itself, uh, it could be Discord, it could be TS, it could be anything, and it could be your stream. So it kind of like unifies the sound um, across that kind of different range of software and stuff. But the thing is nowadays, uh, Discord does do noise gating. If you set to, uh, the uh, if you set the, the voice activity slider, then that basically works as a, a noise gate. It cuts out the, your voice when there's not enough signal. Um, but it also adds a, it's a, a type of compression as well. So it's often not really that necessary for Discord. Um, and most of the time you can expect in-game voice to sound pretty shitty anyway. But yeah, so it's um, it can work really well. Uh, let me just see if I'm going to jump back into Discord with Halle now and just chat about that. Uh, but yes, it's a 2020. Sorry, I'm, I was getting to it, but I almost forgot. Thanks, Slick. Thank you very much. I had I had 144 hertz. Um, but you also have to get crazy frames to, to utilize this, like 140, uh... You know, he's, four he's four talking four quite four 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 far four off four the four mic four now, four and it sounds uh, clear and uh, fine. It's, it's a little bit quieter than when he's close up, but it's not too bad. It's like the sweet spot, where, like, you really don't go above 180, especially in a BR game. As much. A Halifax Scar? <laughs> Maybe Zen will Zen Zen will pump out some some, uh, some scarves. How did the Pepos look at 420? Oh man, it's on the wrong monitor. It's not on my 140. Let's bring them over. Let's bring them over. Oops. Um. So oh BT Dub says you can't use USB mic mics fuck. like the Yeti on a hardware interface. No. Um, pretty much stuck with voice meter and stuff in OBS, yes. So I also did a, I've done a stream about voice meter and when you would and would not want to use it. Um, the processing in voice meter to my ear is not that good. When you compare it to um, free VST plugins that you can get and just install directly into OBS, then I personally think they sound an awful lot better than what's in uh, voice meter. The benefit to voice meter is that it's before OBS, so again, it unifies your sound across Discord and across all sorts of other things. So, uh, a compressor. You would want a compressor, but you could also do the limiter. If it's pretty extreme, then um, I would I probably. Good. I should, should I change. I know you guys were all on unanimous on how well it's Should have changed my game. Sounded. So it so amateur. Sounded. But yeah, a compressor is what I've just set up with Halley. Uh, so that basically turns down the louder stuff um, and a limiter literally stops them from going yeah, above a, a level. Good. So much more extreme. Oh, it's how well it sounded. Check one, check two. Man, that does sound good. <laughs> I'm getting really confused so with what I'm hearing mean. now. <laughs> how well it sounded. Check one, check two. Man, that does sound good. <laughs> That sounds real, real good. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you, LTX. So clean. Check one, check one. <laughs> the fact that he's looping that same that thing is really real, throwing me. Clean. So clean. It's so clean, isn't it? It sounds really good. I really appreciate David coming and helping us out. That sounds real, real good. Yeah, not bad, Hallie. So clean, isn't it? It sounds really good. I really appreciate David coming and helping us out. Yeah, what a great guy. What a great guy. <laughs> Are you ready for a great Friday night shenanigans? <laughs> We're just finishing up our coffee. Yeah, what a great guy. Great guy. Are you ready for a great Friday night shenanigans? Oh, God, I can't handle it. We're just finishing up our coffee. Yeah, what a great guy. What a great guy. Are you ready for a great...
<laughs> oh my god. Infinity everywhere. And I've got some infinity as well. Shane J30, thank you so much for the follow. Much appreciated. <laughs> I still hear it. <laughs> Okay, let me just shut the screen. Right. There's one song that's going to get us in the, uh, in the spirit tonight. Now what? You guys know which one it is. It's time. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, we'll do it. Uh, <laughs> ever so slightly distracting. Um, if you wanted a hardware compressor, then yeah, you would want to have uh, an XLR mic going into a mic preamp first, and then into a compressor, and then into your computer through an audio interface. Alternatively, you could just use an XLR mic into an audio interface and use software for your compression. Um, What is this song? Thanks for the sound, please. Nightbot always matches you on the sound, please. Oh, is it? Okay. <laughs> Thanks for filling me in, Aretsu. She went to a studio to do this. It's very kind of Nightbot, isn't it? He knows he knows quality chat when he sees it. Uh, sorry, Altex, I didn't see your message earlier. Do I do any work in the movie industry? No, I don't. I've actually done a few bits of um, audio work and uh, music production for game. Uh, soundtracks recently which has been really good fun uh, a good friend of mine who actually worked with on that stuff is is a regular uh, engineer and edit engineer for mu uh, movie industry uh, we're out of orange juice <laughs> I saw this in the supermarket today though Do you know what this is? See if Hallie gets that, I don't know. <laughs> oh, nice. That we sounds just, great, Paul. That sounds really fun. Am <laughs> I going to pick you up some? No, 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 no. I saw this. I saw this in the supermarket. Wow, Alti, that's amazing. Said, Do you know what? That would be such fun. I guess if they're going to put God, it on the doing shelf, sound for stuff like that would be so up. much fun. We're going to have... That's literally just like, no rules. Do whatever you want. That would be so much fun. Bear's breast too. Yo, Fitz, cool. you wanna, did you want one? Grab yeah, one definitely. Nice one, Paul. I'll make you up a little one. Just a small one. What uh, 240 hertz monitor? I got the BenQ Zowie Wowie. Bo Zowie Nowie. Um, you can link it like this. You're gonna buy me? I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's just something. There's just something about the eggnog. <laughs> I know. It's oh, never that easy. Quick words in Discord. Oh, here yes, yes. Here we go. Discord, man, these calls, like, this, 
Hey. Hey, how we doing? Yeah, not too bad, man. That sounded really good. Dude, I'm so impressed. Cool, man. You That's good. some serious magic. <laughs> it's all in a day's work. Could you do the uh, screen share for us again? Yeah, Andrew's coming in for a little eggnog. Eggnog? Oh, he loves some eggnog. So we got a little IRL. Yeah, nicest guys ever. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'll, I can just see the flight of the Concords live in London. And I can't hear you. Hello, just, David. <laughs> hey, like a, Andrew. Yes, let's, <laughs> brother's <laughs> here. He uh, he wants to see the two hundred forty, but he, but he has to wait. We're doing sound. Oh uh, yeah, cool. Yeah, it won't be long though. Okay, so there was just a little tweak to do on the gate, uh, and everything else is good. Um, yeah, so just a noise gate, and actually it's kind of like pretty much just put it back where it was. So the open threshold maybe put up to like minus 33, and then put the close down to or up to minus 39. It's just that uh, your keyboard was triggering it quite a lot. Um, All so, right. But it's, it, it's going to happen because your mic's where, yeah. where your mic is and, you, you, you know, you've got a keyboard. So we, we don't need to try to cut it out completely because you'll end up missing parts of your own voice off. So word, exactly. words will go astray yeah. and stuff. We don't want that. So that should be pretty good like that. It was just to give it a little extra couple of decibels difference there. But um, cool. the, the thing with it hitting the red and the meters, that's kind of fine. Like as long as it doesn't actually hit the very top. If you just right, if you just yeah. close your filters window, I'll just look at the meter with you a second. So like that section at the top, like the um the red section at the top, that's actually like nine decibels. So it's it's okay if it creeps into that, but if it really hits the very top of that, then then you've got a problem. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> yeah, so just say something really loud. Wow, it doesn't really get oh, up there very easy. much. Yeah, that compressor. Yeah, then man, it's it's good compressor, really good. So that that seems safe to me. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed that. We were we were just impressed with it. Didn't it, it didn't go up <laughs> above that? Yeah, no, it's good. Uh, I think that's doing its job. I think you don't need to worry about that. Fantastic. And we probably Thank don't need so that much. loudness maximizer on either because that's doing what it needs to do now. So you're all good. I'm not even showing chat right now. Again, I forgot. <laughs> all right, thanks again, David. Not at all. It's totally fine. It's been really good fun. It's really interesting doing something like this live as well. It's good. I was telling yeah, you about perfect. the picture in the background there. But thank you, uh, thank you, David. Um, look forward to seeing you again. I hope some people came over and people yeah, man, there's a few people over. It's good having a good chat over here. It's cool. Fantastic. Enjoy uh, enjoy your Friday night. Yeah, man, you too. Enjoy the games. I'll see you soon. All right. Take care, buddy. Bye. What a nice guy.